The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. So I thought, well, how about we look at something completely different, right? And it's great sci-fi films uh, from 2000 to 2020. So that's 20 years worth, right, effectively. Now, this one I've only saw once or twice. But it was revolutionary when it first came out. Now, push all the side, all the thing with the actors and all the rest of it. Those you like, those you don't like. Just look at the look at the uh, the art. And of course, it was a Minority Report. Uh, and of course, the cool thing with this particular thing, which I was, I think it was based on an original story from somebody way back when, is predicting the future. And of course, in this, they're predicting the future of crimes that are going to occur. And I guess one of the more funkier moments is the fact that he's using the computer screens with his hands on the screen and he's doing it's like a like a ballet with your fingers right he's moving all the screens around he's pressing this and pressing that which of course does not exist in real life and i thought about it afterwards uh and anybody who works in it with keyboards and mice and whatever else you could argue that having stuff on the screen in front of you is great for your eyesight and great for your neck because you don't have to look down but doing this with your hands all the time, you're going to get sore arms because you're not feeling any resistance. Normally, if you're holding something, there's resistance. You can press it and relax relax on it. But if you're just holding your arms in fresh air, doing all this business, after a period of time, you're probably trying, <laughs> just give me a mouse. But it did look good. There's no denying that. And, um, yeah, so I think my already report was actually a really good film. I do need to see it again. It's been quite a while. I think it's on one of the streaming services. And it was particularly groovy, particularly in the future of something that hasn't happened yet. And, of course, I think Tom Cruise's character sees that he's going to commit a crime thinking it's something bad, and it turns out it's not the case at all. So, yes, very good. So you need to go and check that out. And, of course, there's a great sequence when he has to change his eyes, for those who remember it, right, because they do everything with the eyes. They get scanned there, scan the eyes. That's like determining how a person works. And, of course, this was predicting the future of what we have today where you get emails and you get uh, notifications on social media addressed to you personally. So you buy a bottle of milk from Coles online, and then all of a sudden – uh, another message will come through from somewhere else saying, hey, Fred, you bought a bottle of milk there. Why don't you buy some chocolate quick over here? And, of course, it's all personalised to you, which, of course, Minority Report, I think, sort of like emphasised because he's walking through the um, the airport and, of course, he's picking up the eyes of the different person. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I thought it was kind of groovy. So um, love him or hate him, Tom does some awesome sci-fi. He's done a lot, actually. Um, he has at least a five films, I think, all sci-fi related, which is very groovy because a lot of actors, they just do one or two and they go, nah, that's it, I'm moving on. Computer <laughs> wax on and wax off. <laughs> actually, I just watched fifth season of Cobra Kai uh, yesterday. There you go, wax on. That's, that's exactly what it was. That's, it is very, very cool, very groovy.